good morning to everyone welcome to the online class i hope all are fine okay we see the civics lesson already we have completed four lessons from civics part i gave all the answers i think i hope all of you have learned the answers now i am going to start the lesson from the civics part fifth lesson local self government local self government first the meaning of the word local self government here it is given the meaning of the word local self government what is local self government local self government is the institution or look after the administration of an area or community it uh, look after the administration of local area local area local <laughs> self government operates in the grassroots level the low till the lowest level the so <coughs> lowest level of the society of the people the local self government is a management of local affairs manage the local affairs such the local bodies provide service to the local community local community so the meaning of the word lo local self government that means local self government the, or institution look after the administration of an area or small community such as villages village level administration we can say in before uh, independence after independence most most of the people live in the villages so village development is more im important so that the administration uh, started the village level that is local self government it has got the historical background historical background this word local uh, self government is a old concept it is started from ancient period that ancient period in the sense uh, <coughs> in tamil nadu uh, cholas period from cholas period and the later cholas imperial cholas uh, gave the efficient administration in tamil nadu through this local self government through the local self government uh to elect the local bodies the the system was followed that is known as kudavoli system under the kudavoli system that kudavoli system through the kudavoli system the representatives are uh, elected uh, through that election they gave efficient administration during that period then followed by the chola cholas in india the mauryan empire the whole india they gave the administration efficient administration they uh, that period also example for the local self government they also gave the efficient administration then the medieval period during the medieval period local self government had somewhat declined because there was feudalism there was a feudalism so the local self government was declined during the medieval period then the modern period started the modern period british british period that is the last quarter of uh, 19th century that is in the year 1882 lord ripon he was the governor general of the provinces british provinces in india he introduced the local self government he introduced the local self government in india he the lord ripon res resolution is in 19, uh, 1882 known as he was known as the father of local self government first he started the local self government in in the indian provinces so he was called father of uh, local self government 
Then in the Government of India Act was passed in the year 1935. In the year 1935, the Government of India Act was passed. This act gave the autonomy of the provinces. This Government of India Act gave the autonomy for the provinces. That uh, introduced this act, came into force. The provinces of autonomy came into force in the year 1937. Provincial autonomy. Provinces. The, during the period of British, the uh, three important provinces were there in India, that is uh, Madras, Bombay and Calcutta, Navikal, Chennai, Mumbai and Calcutta. That time the British introduces the, these uh, three provinces were famous during the British period. They introduces the provinces, the provincial autonomy. Provincial autonomy. The provinces, uh, mostly the Congress formed its government. Where the Congress formed the government, all these provinces, uh, the Congress government gave the importance for the rural development. Rural development. The rural development got the special attention during the British period especially the provinces, Madras, Bombay, and Calcutta during their period. After independence, Gandhian ideal of Grama Swaraj, Grama Swaraj, villages, villages must get independence because most of the people live in the villages. In India, most of the part lies in the villages. So, Grama Swaraj, Gandhi said, uh, villagers must get uh, independence. They must be more free, more free. That is Grama Swaraj. That is village republic. Here it is mentioned that village republic. India being the land of villages, land of villages, everywhere villages, uh, most of the people do the agriculture. Agriculture is the main occupation of the people. <coughs> so, village autonomy is very important. Here, Gandhiji gave importance for the village autonomy, Grama Swaraj. Then, the local self-government in since independence. Since independence. Local self-government, after independence, The system of local self-government in India took place through the formation of effort for important committees. After independence, this local self-government got importance up by forming the four committees. Because of this uh, formation of these four committees, at last, uh, the Great Charter on Panjait Raj was formed in the year 1957. 1957, the Great Charter on Panjait Raj was created by these four committees, by the four committees. By this uh, Great Charter of the Panjait Raj in 18, uh, 1957, the uh, system, Panjait Raj system was first introduced in one of the village in Rajasthan called Nugar. Nugar district. In Nugar district, in one of the village, this Panjait Raj system was introduced in the year 1957 by the then Prime Minister Jawaharlal Nehru. Jawaharlal Nehru was the first Prime Minister of India. That time, this Panjait Raj was first introduced in one of the village in Rajasthan, Nugar district in Rajasthan. What are the salient features of the Constitution uh, Amendment Act 73 and 74? Constitution was amended. That is, 73 and 74 amendment of the Constitution. Uh, Constitution uh, amendment making some changes in the Constitution. That is, amendment. That is, 73rd and 74th amendment of the Constitution. Especially this uh, 
local self government in that act the some changes they have made according to the changes made in the constitution some of the uh, points here it is mentioned panchayats and uh, municipalities will be institution of self government panchayat and municipalities panchayat means in the village level municipalities in the tal, uh, uh, municipalities uh, taluk level taluk level that is municipalities the gram sabha gram sabha is village level and the ward committees municipalities comprising these are all the administrative bodies found in the gram sabha gram sabha means uh, gram sabha found in the villages this is the administrative body of the villages gram sabha and the ward committees this is the administrative body found in the municipalities then the three tier system according to the 73rd and 74th amendment of the constitution there will be a three tier system in the panchayats panchayats in the panchayat raj three tier system that is village uh, village level taluk level and district level district level uh, committees seat at all levels filled by the direct election all the uh, village level district level and the taluk level seats were uh, filled by the direct elections people elect their representatives elect the representatives election will be held once in 5 years Uh, once in five years, the election will be held. All the members of the committees uh, will be elected through the people. Seats reserved for chairpersons of the panchayats, all levels, Be uh, based on the pro proportion, the population, based on the proportion of the population, chairpersons were elected by the people. one third of the seats are reserved for women one third of the seats reserved for women and the local body elections some of the seats are reserved for women village panchayat or district panchayat tal municipalities Uh, corporation everywhere look the local body elections one third of the seats are reserved for women uh, women we can see the women candidate also contesting the election then uniform five year term that is uh, the election all these local body election will be held once in five years these are all the salient features of the 73rd and 74th amendment of the constitution amendment of the constitution the 73rd and 74th government of the constitution all these changes they have made in the local bodies local self government then the salient features of the tamil nadu panchayat raj act 1994 the new panchayat raj system came into being tamil nadu after enactment of new law local body institution the year 1994 the 1994 only the new uh, local body uh, that is the panchayat raj system came into uh, force in the in tamil nadu some of the features a three tier system like uh, other states in tamil nadu also three tier system that is uh, panchay uh, village panchayat uh, district panchayat and uh, taluk like this three tier system gram sabha gram sabha we can see that uh, once in a year three or four times the gram sabha meetings will be held that that particular gram panchayat president members and the people will be gathering once in uh, four or five uh, four or five times in a year that is especially the uh, gandhi jayanti uh, labor's day like this uh, four or five times the uh, uh, that is gram sabha meetings will be held gram sabha that is again provision of this uh, 1994 act then establishment of election commission 
according to the Panjayat Raj Act 1994, election commission established in Tamil Nadu, then constitution of finance commission, finance commission was set, established according to this uh, 1994 uh, Panjayat Raj Act, reservation of seats for SCSTs. SCSTs uh, seats are reserved in the uh, local body elections. Then uh, one third seats were reserved for women and uh, constitution of district planning committees. Con constitution of a district planning committee. Constitution of disti uh, district planning committee was introduced in this act this this uh, tamil nadu panjayat raj act 1994 all these uh, all these things in, introduced all these things introduced next uh, today uh, to this much enough now we mark some of the answers from this topic that is, give short, ones, give short note, second one, disturb the salient features of Tamil Nadu Panjavitaraj Act 1994. All these points, just now I told you, that is page number 273, under the 18 salient features of Tamil Nadu Panjavitaraj Act 1994, up to uh, A to G, that is, uh, these points you have to mark. A three-tier system, three-tier system, that is Panjayat, uh, Grama Panjayat, Taluk and uh, District Panjayat. This is a three-tier system. Gram Sabha. Gram Sabha meetings will be held on uh, four or five times in a year. Then establishment of election commission. Uh, Tamil Nadu election commission is there. That is uh, introduced in this act. Then constitution of finance commission also introduced. Reservation of seats for SCSTs proportionate to their population. One third of the reservation of seats for women and uh, con constitution of district planning com committees. These are all the points you have to mark for this question. Second short answer. Then the next one is detail answer. Detail answer. Write de in details about the salient features of the 73rd and 74th Constitutional Amendment Act. 1992, 1992. That is page number 272. Salient features of the 73rd and 74th Constitution Amendment Act, 1992. Under this heading, some points are given that to be marked the first detail. Panjayat and municipalities will be institution of self-government. Panjayat means uh, village Panjayat. Uh, Daluk uh, will be institution of the self-government. Gram Sabhas, Gram Sabhas will be held in the villages and the ward committees, the municipalities comprising. All this will be there in three-tier system of Panjayat at village, Taluk and district. These are the three-tier system. Seats at all levels filled by district elections. Uh, Panjayat level, Taluk level and di district level. Seats, all the seats, members, president, uh, ward members, all will be filled by the election. Election will be held once in five years. Seats reserved for chairpersons of the Panjayat at all levels also shall be reserved in proportion to their population. Seats for chairperson of the Panjayat reserved, based, uh, reserved for, based on the uh, proportion of the population. Based on the uh, population, number of seats will be allotted. Number of seats will be allotted. Then one third of the total number of seats reserved for women. The local body election, one third uh, seats reserved for women. So you can see that uh, the election, 
in the local body election and all you can see the women candidate all contesting uh, in the election they also win the election they became the president they uh, became the ward members they became the district uh, uh, chairperson like this uniform five year term all these local body election will be held once in five years once in five years the election will be held the local body election will be held once in five years so we have marked two questions that is one two mark and one five mark question from this topic what i taught from page number 271 to to 273 to 73 not completed up to this i have marked two questions one two mark and one five mark we have to learn these two question answers from this topic from this topic okay thank you